Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Let us share ourselves out. Hello, good evening. How was your day? How was your Wednesday? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You can see the tiredness on my face, right? Ah, you can see. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Good evening. This is Blessing Angel. Good to have you all here. So I'm just going to wait for Facebook to build my audience up a bit more. Uh, you can also help Facebook by sharing the video if you want. Um, what else? Yeah. Let's get a few more people and then we can get into it. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Who is here? Hello, good evening. I see people trooping in. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you. I want to kind of like share with you guys what my experience was like working again after a break of 21 months. That's like um, a year and nine months. Yeah, yeah, almost two years of not having work. To be honest, I've been working like, but I haven't been working for a bus. I haven't been going to a place of work, like an actual company. Um, I've been working for myself for the past few years. And then I took a break a year and a half ago. I talked all about that in my paid event last time for those of you who attended. And if you didn't attend, I'm not going to repeat myself the reason or reasons why I left my previous job. And now, today I started a new job and I wanted to share with you guys how my day went. I'm even It looks like I'm coming down with a cold or something, like it was stressful. Stressful in the sense that I had to wake up, like I actually woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. Not because I had to, but because I just found myself waking up at 5 a.m. So thank you all for coming in if you're just joining. Let me know who is here. I see small thumbnails. I see your pictures, but I don't know who that is. So you can also type something so that I can see a few names. Yes, I see Jumai. Hey, Jumai. Happy new month. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yes, it's September 1st. I didn't even realize it in the morning. Of course, I know that today is the 1st of September, but I didn't even tell anyone Happy New Month. I just jumped into the train and it was later that I saw people were like, Ah, oh, we've entered the Emba, or is it Mba month, they call them. I was like, Oh, okay, 1st of September. Like, I hope I don't fall sick. Hi, David. David Osas, Gloria. Thank you for coming. Okay, I think we should just start. I think a few people are here already. Please go ahead and give this video a like. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a love. Give it a share. Share it so that we can also still have more people tune in. I don't know if you guys can hear me well. Sharon Solomon, good evening. Thank you for coming. Love to see you guys. Um, let me know if you can hear me well. I hope you guys can hear me. So in case, but I was supposed to stream this also live on YouTube, but yeah, I just forget. I, I, like okay so let's just start hello Nelly black good evening and thank you also for joining thank you all so much for being here so let's just begin so this is a live stream for those of you who are here you can already tell but if anyone else gets to watch this video on another day please know that this is a live stream and you might experience some delays and lapses here and there or maybe network um, interruptions Please ignore, it's going to get over within a few seconds. Um, okay, what are we talking about? I don't have, okay, I have water. I'm going to get my son's water so that I can. Oh my God, it's not easy. Hmm. 
Okay. So, how was my day? Hmm. The day didn't start very well. It wasn't a good day in the beginning. So, I was supposed to start work at 9 a.m. I was supposed to be in Amsterdam, like my new job is in Amsterdam. I was supposed to be there at 9 a.m. So I needed to wake up at 6 because my son had to be at daycare at 7.30 in the morning. So I thought, okay, I'll wake up at 6 and then I can quickly get myself ready, do, you know, something on my face and also get him ready for us to go. So I put my alarm for 6 a.m. but I found myself up at 5 a.m. Maybe the nurse, I was dreaming also about the new job. <laughs> Crazy. I was seeing faces of new colleagues that I actually had never met before today. I only saw them online when we were doing like oh, a few of them, not all of them. When I had my job interview, which I did online. So never been to the company, never shook hands with anybody, never met anyone face to face. Everything went online. So I was kind of like, I wasn't nervous, but I was really excited. Like, I cannot wait. So I woke up at 5 a.m. I just, you know, went online, did a few things, and I had enough time to prepare myself, you know. Um, and then I woke my son up. He, he didn't find it funny. Like, <laughs> he didn't find it funny. But hey, he, he has to get used to real life again. Um, he was one and a half when I stopped working, yeah. So before then, of course, he would always go to daycare. But I think he forgot that reading or the routine of going to daycare. A year and a half old he was and now he's three years old um, so he just has to get used to it again so I woke him up he was really groggy he, he just wasn't feeling it so I woke him up I think around six and then I prepared him gave him something to eat and then we left home like come 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 let's go let's go let's go and then I took him to daycare and then I dropped him off you know talked with the lady and then I went, I went actually on my bike, I took, well, my husband's bike, to the station. So from there, I picked the train, heading for Amsterdam. I left home, I think I said that story already in the morning. I did a live stream in the morning and I told you guys how pissed off I was. Because I left home, like usually I don't use public transportation often. So today was like the first time in a long time so I kind of like totally forgot that I, I needed um, a mask a face mask so I just you know happy going to work and then I sit there in the train feeling cool and then the conductor walks up to me anyway I'm not gonna repeat the entire story you can watch the video I did in the morning and it was quite rude so that kind of like spoiled my mood I was like why do you have to do that today why today of all days I ended up taking a mask from a passenger, from someone else, from another um, traveler in the train. So I got to work and I was well received. <sighs> I was well received. It was good. Um, yeah, it was just good. I met the people face to face. They introduced me to all the people that I'm going to be working with. Um, went to the IT desk and I picked up my laptop which I'm going to be unboxing for you guys. I already unboxed it, yeah, because I worked on it today already. But for the sake of this video, we are going to, we are going to do a re-unboxing. We're going to unbox it all over again. So I took this, I also got my pass, like that's the card that I need to use um, to come into the building every day. It gives me access um, and yeah, my manager came late because something happened at another location, an accident, someone lost fingers. So um, she had to come late, um, but it was good. Like the whole, my feeling, it was just, I was just so relaxed. I was so, I felt so at home. Uh, it didn't even feel like I had been gone from work for so long. I had so much energy. I left that place with so much energy. I, I thought it would be drained. I thought, okay, after not having worked for so long, today is going to be like a very, very difficult day for me, but it wasn't. Like I had so, so much energy. 
so enthusiastic I was about the job and about just the people. It, it didn't feel like work, work, you know how it is when you go to your place of work for the first time and you're like nervous and you have sweaty palms and you're looking at everybody and everyone is looking at you and everyone is talking about the new girl. It was totally different. So just a great feeling. Um, thank you. Oh, I'm not even... Okay. <gasps> really? Bolalo said you're eating government money. How come you're talking about work? Oh my god, I didn't even know. Are you for real? Oh wow. <laughs> okay, well that's funny, isn't it? It's funny, isn't it? Yeah, good question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Favor Osas. <laughs> okay so thank you Nelly Black thank you so well, well I didn't I didn't know that I'm just hearing it for the first time <laughs> um, okay so let's do the unboxing or maybe I should just brief you guys about how the whole interview process went I think I said that already in my paid event but for the sake of you <laughs> but for the sake of those who were not there, who could not attend, for whichever reason that I think I know, but let me just brief you guys about the, about the entire solicitatsi, we call it solicitatsi, job interview process, and how it went. So, of course, you guys know how I am. Like, sometimes I just say things to you guys. A lot of things I say to you are things that normal people would want to keep a secret or keep private maybe because they are not proud of it but I told you guys then that or before I got the job I told you guys okay um I want to start to search for a job I'm ready to go back to work after taking a break for a year a year and a half and I want to take you guys along because I can imagine that there might be some people watching me who might also be in the same position or situation as me who maybe are not working at the moment thank you Pat thank you and who maybe want to go back to work, who want to start to work again. So I was like, okay, maybe I can do like a program where we can be encouraging each other. We can start like a little group and then we are going to be motivating each other. We are going to say, okay, what did you do today to ensure that you get a job? Which websites did you search? What did you do? Where did you place your CV? Um, did you contact any company? Did you write a letter? Did you, you know, like to have that forum, that group where we can really talk and I really wanted to take you guys along on that journey on my job searching journey so when I um, went in for this job I also told you guys oh I had my first interview today so basically um, my CV is on certain websites so all these people call me like okay yeah so job, just to keep it like on the surface I don't want to go too deep there are some websites that you can upload your CV. Mm? You put everything you've done in the past, your experience and all of that, all the places you've worked. Um, you write a little something about yourself and then employers or prospective employers go there when they are in need of um, an employee. They go there and if they like your CV, they are going to get in touch with you. So the reason it took me quite about six months to get a job, well, I thought about getting a job like a long time ago, like about six months ago. So I put my CV on all those places. So I wasn't actively contacting companies, if that makes sense. I wasn't sending out my CV to companies like, okay, I want this, I want this, I want this. People were contacting me rather. So they would find my CV and then they would call me up. Like, So all the people that were calling me, especially job centers, like they would call me, and I'll just be like, okay, what's the job? Where is the location? What's the pay? And then I would be like, no, I'm not taking this job. And my husband would be like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. I'm going to choose the kind of job that I want, not the other way around. Thank you so much, princess. Thank you so much. So, well, that one went on and on and on. And sometimes I'll just scrap a job because it's too far away or because the pay is not good or because I just don't like something about maybe the setup of the company. Maybe it's a, it's a very small, I don't like to work in very small organizations. I like to work in really, really big establishments. 
So I'll just cut them off. And then one day I just sat down. I was like, okay, because I used to work with BAM. BAM is a really huge company here in the Netherlands. BAM, like if you're here, you know. Um, I used to work there and I thought I would like to still work in a company like BAM. And then the idea just came to me like, how about try this one? It's also a similar one. And then I went on their website and I saw a few um, vacancies that I thought matched with my profile. I looked through, I saw the pay, good. But all the ones that I saw were full-time jobs. And for me, I don't want to work full-time. I want to work like four days. I don't want to work five days because I have a kid. My husband works six days and sometimes he works seven days. Sometimes he works on Sundays. It's crazy, yeah? So if I should work five days, that means we only have one or two days with our kids together as a family. So I was like, no, I'm going to work four days. My husband can work eight days if he wants. So, but all the jobs I found on that website were like full-time, full-time, full-time. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just going to put in my CV and when they call me or something, we are going to negotiate. I'm going to tell them what I want. So I did that and then immediately I sent in my CV. It was crazy. They just sent me um, an invitation. They didn't even say, oh, what, what, what? They just sent me an invitation. Blessing, you were invited for your first job interview. And I told my husband, like, these people have called me. They said I should come. So I went in for the first one. Um, and... I didn't really have 100% feeling that it went well. Be well, I did well. I thought I did well, but I wasn't very confident about my performance because of my Dutch. Like, I speak Dutch quite all right, but because I haven't worked for a year and a half, the level of my Dutch kind of like, like I'll be searching for words. Like, I want to say something. I want to explain something. And I'll be struggling. Like, how do you say this? And the English word would come in. So I didn't feel like my communication skills came through so i was doubting like are they going to call me back for a second interview so i told my husband i'm worried because i did well i answered i was prepared i answered well but my i just wasn't flowing like i'm talking i'm talking quite well for you guys but then i wasn't talking well in my own the way i feel or the way i felt about it but maybe they had another impression so we did interview, it lasted I think about an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, it was online, yeah? And we had the interview with my manager and someone else, yeah. So about a week later or about three days later, they sent me another email blessing, you made it through to the second round, you are going to have another interview. I was like, second round, let's bring it on. So I was shortlisted and I, I was moved upwards. I'm doing fine, Esther. Okay, princess, yes. I'm going to, please remind me at the end of the video, I'm going to talk briefly about that. A link or a for, for scholarship. Okay. So just hang around. So we should talk about that at the end of this video. So, um, the second interview, oh my God, I was so prepared. I was like, this job I wanted, like, I'm not even playing. And that was the first, like, all this month, I never did any interview. I only talked with people from job centers. Um, I wasn't just feeling them. Like, even one sent me an email. He was like, bless him, call me. I saw your CV and I have this job, call me. I was like, are you serious? You need me to work? You are the one needing me and I have to call you. you no, know, you have to call me. So I just ignored that one. Like I told my husband, no, he's not serious. Like other people find my CVs and they contact me and you are asking me to call you. Are you even searching for someone? Like, so, so I was really talking back and forth with people from um, job centers, but not directly from a company. So this job, I'm getting it like directly. Not, I don't have a, um, a middleman. Oh my God, why do I have... A lash in my eye. I'm not even wearing fake lashes today, but so um, the second interview, like I just, I was so prepared. I was like, bring it on. The fact that you guys are inviting me for a second one, I am getting that job. I don't care. So we did a second interview, and that one went so well. That one lasted for about 45 minutes, and at the end of the interview, I felt like. Is that all? Is that all you guys have to ask me? Because I was so on fire. 
So anyway, after a few days, they called me back and told me that I was selected for the job, for the job. But anyway, there was like a little change. They told me that because I applied for the role of a project coordinator. I am still going to be a project coordinator with the company, or I still am a project coordinator, but my focus is going to be overseeing project planning. So we are expecting like in the coming months, 120 projects into the company. So I am going to be seeing, overseeing all those projects. We have someone doing that job now, but he's going with pension next year. So he has all the time to train me. Um, and then I'm going to take over. So like, it's going to be very challenging. It's going to be a lot of responsibility on my shoulders, but I'm so geared up for it. Like I'm so, so, so ready. You know, it's, really different when you get the job of your choice it's it's just a totally different feeling you just feel so confident you feel so good like this is like finding the the real man for you finding your own person it's not just a man that okay let me just manage i'm 39 already Ugh. let me just he's nice he's taking care of me he's nice let me just but when you find the one your own choice you know the feeling so that's just what this is and what I didn't tell you guys, thank you all so much for the congratulations. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you, Naomi. And what I didn't tell you guys is before I went to Africa in April. Okay, so this one is crazy. So I just thought, okay, um, let me try to get a job via Randstad. We have Randstad. It's a job center. And I was like, okay, let me do, I, I don't know why or what. So I searched and then I found something. I thought, okay, this one is flexible. Um, because for me, I was like, I don't want to do full time. So all the engineering jobs that I found all were full time. So I found this one. They were like, it's flexible. You can work for three days. If you want, you can work for four days. And it was in the medical field, you know, the Corona period and everything. Um, it was like administration, like I'm going to be keying in all the, you know, all the test results and all the, you know, like just administrative work. Like, I don't think I'm going to be doing the whole, the real thing so i got that job and then i had to travel to africa for my own business and i was supposed to spend a week so i told them oh i just had to go like it's an emergency i'm going to be back in a week so they were like oh that's okay that's okay that's fine and then one week turned two weeks two weeks turned three weeks and the third week they were like madam we are sorry the job is going to someone else so i lost that job I was kind of like distraught about it, but I thought, look, it's not even my job, number one. It's not my field. It's something I can do. It's not like rocket science or something. It's not my field. The pay is not really, it's not worth it, you know, compared to what I'm used to. The only reason that I went for that job was because it was flexible. I can de determine my own time, like three days, four days, or sometimes in the weekend. So I thought that was ideal. But thank God I lost that job. Otherwise, anyways, to cut the long story short, I got this one and I want to do the unboxing now of what I got. Yeah, of what I got. So it's my first day and I am going to be working from home most times. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's do the unboxing. Story, story, long story. So this I got it's a brand new laptop and this is very normal it's not special it's not like so if you're doing if you like you have a qualification and you're working behind a computer it's normal that you get a laptop it's not like oh my god no it's just normal so I got this it's an HP and it's so ironic because I also have an HP laptop in the house and most places I've worked in the past, they would give me like a Dell. Everywhere I've worked before, Dell, Dell, Dell. And I am in love with HP. But I've had my laptop for like 10 years, 11 years. So when I saw this, I was like, finally, finally. So this is what I'm going to be working on when I'm working from home. Even when I go to work, I still work. I take this along and I work on this, yeah? It's really cool, like, it's really cool. And yeah, of course, the mouse comes with it. I've not used it yet. Unboxing of unboxing. What else? The charger, of course, you can use a laptop without a charger. 
I like the bag anyway. It's not like the bulky bags you have. It's like lightweight and a bit compact. So it's good. It has my name on it, by the way. So, and I also got a phone. Yeah. Um, I got an A50. And that is also very normal. It's, it's not new. People who... Yes, I'll be working from home. Yeah. Although once in a while, like next Wednesday, I should be at work because we have to go to a location site. Um, engineering is like you're always working on site. Well, not always, but you have to go and monitor and look at what is happening. Um, so they are going to take me around there, show me around and show me how some installations look and all of that. Um, so we are doing that on Wednesday, but from tomorrow, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm working from home. So like maybe four days from home and maybe one day, once in a while, I'll go to work. Yeah, so that's quite cool. Um, I haven't also opened this one. I haven't um, put the SIM card. I don't know if they already did. I think the SIM card is already inside. I think they already did. So it's also brand new. It's a Samsung A50. Yeah. So let me see. Maybe the SIM card is just underneath. No, I think maybe they already installed it. So with everything, these are the cables and this is the adapter and it's crazy because this phone i'm using also now is a samsung but i think this one is a bit smaller yeah this this size is a bit smaller than what i have what i'm doing this video with so like i said it's also very normal when you work like here in the netherlands i don't know how it is in other countries um, here in the netherlands when you have a corporate job it's very normal to get a phone and a laptop phone because you have to communicate you have to call people especially when you you know going to clients and i also got a car yeah but there is a but with the car <laughs> it's not like you just handed me a car key blessing here is the car um so basically normally they are supposed to do that that's what i'm used to like my previous job i had a car i had an official car um, but this time, with Corona, everything, a lot of things have changed. A lot of people are working from home. So how illogical would it be for me to have a company car sitting in front of my porch? Is it porch? Yeah. Um, and nobody's driving it. So basically, I'm not getting a car to take along. But whenever I need a company car, I can always pick it up. If maybe I have to go somewhere, I just go get the car. But it's not going to sit, be sitting five days in front of my house and no one is driving it when maybe someone else could actually be using it, which is understandable. So, yeah, like I said, it's normal. Like these things are just, I'm just unboxing, but it's really not special. I've seen people brag about things like this. Oh my God, I have a job where I got a laptop, a phone, a car. It's normal if you have a corporate job. Especially a job whereby you need to travel, you need to go to clients, you need to go to location sites, you need to you know, move around, you get a car. It's not special and it's not something to brag about. Okay, so it's just part of the, part of the package. Um, because I don't think anyone should expect you to use your own private car to be juggling customers and clients for the company. You can also do that if you choose to, it's a choice. You can choose to do that, use your own private car, and then you declare the costs at the end of the month and then you get your money back. But for me, I always prefer to use, to have, to use their own car and then everything is just automatic. I don't have to be declaring stuff. So, yes. So yeah, I think that was it a little. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. So I love the fact that I can work from home. That is one thing. But I told my husband, if I'm working from this house, I don't want my kid in this house because there is no way I can really concentrate. I can really work when he's here because he's three years old. He needs my attention. He knows mommy is there. When I'm behind the computer, he thinks I'm playing. He wants to come and look at what I'm doing. He wants to touch. He's going to distract me. I need to change his diapers. I need to give him water i need to he's just gonna you know so i told my husband he has to go to daycare so we kind of like agreed on that so yeah that's what is going to happen so my husband will be going to his place of work and i'm all here by myself in the house working and i did a house tour a while ago and i showed you guys the last floor we have a guest room there and it's a very big room 
So now we are thinking of demarcating, like creating a demarcation in that room and making an office out of it. Like we're gonna divide the room into two. One is still gonna be like a guest room and the other side is going to be like an office. So another thing is that I still have to order um, furniture, like to work from home. I need a proper desk, um, a proper chair, office chair. So that is also paid by the company. So I just buy those things and then I declare the receipt and I get the money back. Basically, we get um, 500 euros every year for anything that has to do with, you know, your body posture, anything that has to do with your health and vitality. Um, for example, you want to go to the gym, your, our company can actually pay your gym subscription or you want to go for physio, you want to go for massage, stuff like that. We get 500 euros every single year to spend on that. So my first 500 euros, I'm going to use it to buy furniture that I'm going to be using to work from home. So right now I'm still going to be using a dining table here downstairs, not ideal, but I don't have any other choice. I'm going to use that and then maybe in the weekend, I'm going to go shopping for a proper desk and chair that I can work on. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Yes, so yeah, I think I've said enough. Like, it was a little bit of a long day, but it was really good. You, I can even see the, the stress on my face. Like, yes, yeah, so we are back to building a career after a break of a year and a half. Thank you so much, David. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, yeah. All right, so someone asked about um, scholarship. So it really depends on which country you want to um, get your scholarship. So basically, you can just use Google. That is always the first step. If, for example, you want to get scholarship um, in Canada or in the UK, just Google scholarship in Canada or scholarship in the UK. Then you see uh, various hits come up. You just go, you click on each of them and you read them. You're going to see their requirements and then if you find anyone that um, or for which you qualify, if you find anyone um, with requirements that you qualify for or that you meet, um, you just apply. And of course, there are some that are um, dubious that might want to rip you off money. You should be careful. For scholarship, you shouldn't pay. They'll tell you, oh, pay. you have to pay this certain amount and all of that. You shouldn't pay. You know, that's why it's a scholarship. You don't pay for it. You don't buy it. You know, it's given on merit if you deserve it, if you qualify. So someone asked, I think it was Princess. So please just use Google. But what you can also do is send me a message inbox. I am going to really help you. I'm willing to do so. I really want to. So let me know which country and then we can search together. Um, yes. Yes, you have to be careful. You don't pay. The first red flag is when they ask you to pay. You don't pay. So that's the first thing you want to look out for. Um, but there are really a lot of legit um, organizations that still offer scholarship. And sometimes they have like a period, maybe between January and July, you have to apply because school is going to start in September. So just look if you're still, if you're still within the date range. And then there's there are quite a lot. So it really depends on which country you're looking at. It really depends. Yes. Yes, do so. Do so. So I wanna thank everyone. I am really stressed. I look a little, a little stressed. I just need a long hot shower. I've already eaten, I already ate something. It's crazy because now our lives are going to change because um I got back and then my husband had to go pick our son up from daycare and before he came back I already cooked rice I quickly boiled rice but I still had to do a few things from home so I quickly put on my laptop I tried to fix one or two things and then when he came back he saw that I was still working and then he went to the kitchen and he fixed food for our son and by the time the food was already hot I was already done with my work and then I picked. So it's, it's like division of labor. We are not even saying, oh, you do this, you do this. 
everyone is just like okay now i have time let me do this so when i was getting the food out of the oven he was already doing something else so that's really how it goes like when two parents are working it's really different like you don't have time to be quarreling like oh why am i the only one doing so much if you guys know that okay we are both in this together you're just going to be about supporting each other like without even asking for it like it's just going to come natural like he knows that okay this lady is working let me take care of the child and when i see that he's busy he's doing something i, I do stuff you know so it's really nice it's really nice yeah blogging so <laughs> yeah my blogging is going to suffer a bit because this time around i want to really take this job seriously because this job is i don't know how to put it it's like the best i have ever had and i know why i'm saying that because i've never worked with the company directly all these years that i've been working i've always worked uh, through a, a, a bureau they call them like data sharing bureau so they are not really like job centers, but they are like engineering companies. So they hire engineers um, and they give us permanent positions. Let me just say, I my, let me tell you my experience. So I was employed by um, an agent or agency and they employed me permanently. So that agency, companies um, contact them like we need an engineer with this and this and these qualifications and then that agency sends me to different companies to work for different companies like they hire me out and usually i never stay longer than two years with the company so they would send me here go and work here and work on this project once the project is done maybe after a year a year and a half they send me they put me in another place so they were like sending me to all this that's why i have worked in like different companies here in the netherlands and for now i now have my own job like independently like i don't I no longer have like someone in between doing the negotiation for me. I did all the negotiations myself. It was crazy because after I got the job, so they told me to give them my salary indication. Thank you. I appreciate it, David. So they told me to give them my salary indication, which I did because for me, it was the first time negotiating, to be honest. Um, uh, previously I would just get a job and they would tell me blessing this is how much we are paying you and I would just sign so this time I told them what I needed or what I thought I deserved to get and of course we went back and forth we negotiated and then we came to an agreement so for me this is just like perfect I get to work from home I have great people who are like willing to help willing to teach me and it's just you know what it's a feeling i can't explain it. it's different from anything i've ever known in the past so for me i, I want to take this job seriously i am not going to let my blogging affect my job so it's going to be family first job second and then blogging third so that means that i'm not going to be uploading as many videos as i used to I'm going to be doing more live videos, like I told you guys before, which takes less time than um, pre-recorded videos. So that is how I'm going to be able to manage it a bit. Thank you. Thank you so much. So that's how I'm going to. So I'm also like before when I was working for myself, I could just wake up at 10 a.m. and just watch YouTube videos. And I know, OK, I'm going to analyze this video. But now I can no longer do that because at 10 a.m. I should be at work. So I can watch. I'm not going to know what's happening online unless it's um, 5.30 p.m. and I'm done with work. Then I can. Like now I haven't even gone to my phone. I haven't gone to Facebook. Well, I'm on Facebook now, but I haven't scrolled through to know what is happening. So it's really going to be different. Things are going to really be different from how they used to be. But I'm going to be doing live streams. Um, yeah, more live streams than pre-recorded videos. Um, so before I used to do like four videos, three videos a week. Now I'm going to be doing maybe one one pre-recorded i'm going to be doing more live streams like this like maybe in the evening i just come back from work then i talk to you guys and yeah it's gonna be good i'm really i have so much energy like i left work today feeling like i still have energy to go on for four hours i was thinking i'll be tired like oh my god but like the energy is like up there so yeah i'm happy Thank you all so much for the best wishes. Thank you all so much for your love, for the prayers. I appreciate it.
So I think we are going to go. Princess sent me a message. Let's see what we can do. Thank you again. If there are no more questions, I am just going to sign out. Go and look after my people. Yes. So you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Give it a love. You can also share it still if you want. Um, I'm going to come live tomorrow because I want to analyze um, Eore and Nigel Watch. So if you don't want to miss that one, um, follow this channel or follow this page if you are not already following. Thank you all. Oh my God. Thank you all so much for the likes and the loves. Thank you all so much. So we are going to analyze Eore and Nigel Watch tomorrow evening, hopefully, because he did a four hour video. I don't know how I need to watch the entire video first before I can analyze. So I hope I'm able to do that tomorrow. Otherwise, it's going to be the day after tomorrow. Yes. So thank you all again. And I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye.